Hello everybody, this is Oleg, welcome to Oregon Preparedness. Today I wanted to talk to you about homeless and this HGF. How are they going to be in this HGF compared to other people? As we drive it along here, you can see kind of there is few of them in their tents over there, camping, and they're all over the place. They're everywhere, I notice here in Pacific Northwest. Right now you're in Portland, Oregon. I've seen the same story in Seattle, Washington. They're just, they're everywhere and they seem to be multiplying more and more. I don't know how to explain this exactly. I don't know if people are becoming, some of them perhaps, more lazy and just don't want to work, which I think is the case partially. Some of them, of course, become homeless due to unfortunate circumstances. But I've noticed, I've noticed, I've noticed this trend in the past. I'd say four to five years, there seems to be more and more of them everywhere. And in certain parts of the city, police chases them away. And in other parts, I think uh, it's probably depending on the local laws. Because for an example, in Portland, I think uh, there's lots of shelters for them in downtown Portland and some support for them in all the adjacent cities that are near Portland. Uh, I don't see not a single one of them, which makes me think that probably it's against the law over there to be homeless or something. Look at this. Look at this. People are just camping on the street. Yeah, it's a sad, sad situation. And you know, I'm sure many of us come across these homeless who are beggars. They stay on the corners of streets and just asking for money. I used to give them some money you know, dollar here and there, but I stopped in most cases because these people, some of them do look homeless and in need and some look, they're dressed decently. They don't look like they're starving, yet they have, there's another one, yet they have another the sign in their hands that shows that they're asking for money. There's another camper. They, they say, we'll work for money, we'll do this, mother of two, or whatnot. And there was a guy, one time I asked him, and here's more of it. I, I stopped, I just wanted to test, and I said, you know, I need to do some work in my backyard. Your sign says you'll work for money. I said, let's go, I'll pay you. He just flat out told me, oh no, I don't want to work, I just want the money. So after that, I started to look at them differently, you know. Unfortunately, many of them are just liars. But for some of them, shit is hitting the fan already. You know, some of them perhaps lost jobs and just maybe were affected mentally by it. And just ended up on the streets. I've don't know any one person, but I heard stories that some homeless became 
living on the streets after some nasty divorce when when their ex-wife would completely destroy their life, you know? Which is believable. I've been through one divorce and it was a very difficult thing. Very hard. It costed me a lot of money, a lot of stress. So I can totally believe that you can become homeless after some nasty divorce. And you know, these homeless, they, they are basically scavengers already. Of course, some of them are just too lazy because, you know, as most of us know, there is, there is help. You just need to go and get it. There's food banks. The food may not be first quality, but it is edible, it is food. And you can get it for free or for almost free, you know. My sister, when she was broke, she used to go a lot to these food banks. And I know some of them you need to be sort of like member and you pay like $30 a month or something for that sort of membership. But you can still get food. And, you know, for 30 bucks a month, you'll get a lot of food, you know. And some of them are absolutely free. So, I would say, you know, these people, at least right now, there is really not much of a reason to be homeless. Sometimes I've seen them in this parking lot. This is Fred Meyer's parking lot. Often I see these campers in Walmart's parking lot. It's more common ground for them. However, here, there, they're quite often over here as well. And anyway, while right now there is plenty, there's plenty of everything, plenty of food, and you just need to apply some effort to get it. But for them, it's easier just to stand on the corner of the street, beg for money, get enough for a slice of pizza and a beer, and it's good enough for them. However, when crap will hit the fan, it will not be the case. It, there will not be these services, these food banks that give you food for free because you know right now all that food at food banks is just basically food that is coming close to expiration date in the stores it's still good food it's still edible may not be the freshest vegetables and of course things are in the cans it doesn't matter but when there will be shortage of food there will be no there will be no food banks and that's when lots of regular people who are not prepared are gonna turn into scavengers and what I wanted to say is is homeless probably will have slight advantage over regular people who are not prepared of course, preppers and prepper kind, they will have something in their pantry, in their garage. So they will, plus, since they're prepper minded, they have different ideas how to survive, where to get food, whether it's, you know, fishing, hunting, or some other places they might get food from some berries, mushrooms, you know, whatever. But um, people who are not with the proper mentality, they are totally, many of them are totally clueless. They, all they know is how to get to Walmart or any grocery store and get food, but that may not be always the case. Yeah, here is Walmart parking lot, here is 
Here's another camper. I mean, you can tell somebody lives in the van. There's things on the dashboard. Kind of beat up van. That one is another camper over there. Just camping there. Surprisingly, I didn't see too many, just these two. Yeah, these kind of homeless, they are, they are high-end homeless. At least they have some kind of vehicle. They're not on the street in the tent. I mean, he's got bicycle in there attached to his truck. And as a result of all this homeless, there is garbage on the streets. A few years ago, it wasn't the case. It was always clean. I've lived in this area for 20 some years. Look at this. There's another van with blocked windshield. I'm sure somebody lives in there and that RV. So basically this homeless day, um, they do make <clears throat> the whole area dirty and you know just garbage is everywhere. In most cases they don't present threat to people. At least from my experience I haven't noticed that. In most cases they I've never seen or heard of homeless attacking the regular people just to mock them or rob them. <clears throat> However, I have been a victim of theft. I used to live not far away from where I am right now, just five minute drive, in kind of decent neighborhood. <clears throat> I used to rent a house there. It was clean neighborhood. It was, you know, older but decent houses. And there was never garbage. But that area was not far away from where we just drove through. And I know those homeless were just <clears throat> scavenging around and looking around what to steal because my truck was broken into twice. I've lived there two, I've lived there six years and two times they broke into my truck. One time I had some camping supplies in my truck that I purchased and uh, somehow I just forgot to take him home. I came home really late, it was dark and uh, it might have been rainy night or something, but I did not take my stuff in there. There was a couple of sleeping bags, brand new tent, a uh, pump with batteries to pump the mattresses, <clears throat> some other miscellaneous things for camping. And they stole all of it. Of course, some homeless became really rich because whatever I buy, I may not always buy most expensive things, but I don't buy cheapest things because I know when crap will hit the fan, things need to last at least some time, you know? Or even if, if it's not for SHTF, if it's just for camping. I don't want it to break after one or two uses. So I always buy something at, at least in the middle ground, you know, I don't buy cheapest things. And therefore, somebody got some goodies out of my truck. And then second time, <clears throat> a couple years went by, and they busted my truck. They um, somehow were able to, they were messing with the lock because my lock was messed up and they, they they just basically pried open my door and they stole, I had a bag with just nothing really important to them but they probably thought there was some valuables. I had a bag with my cologne that I, you know, use with, I don't remember, there was some multi-tool in there, just few various things, nothing Nothing super important. But what was important that they busted my truck open. So a couple of times I was a victim of homeless. And that's what I wanted to say. Right now it's peaceful. Right now there is police enforcing the law. 
and it still occurs and occurs more and more when lights will be out if they will ever be and I believe they will be at some point for some time all this will just all this crime will explode because people who have been homeless they will they already have experience you know and new people will will be on their path as well so with that I want to conclude if you have any thoughts if you have any ideas drop them in the comments below if you like this video if you find it useful please like please subscribe it'll help my channel to grow and for now everybody have a good day stay safe watch out for thieves and stay prepared above all take care